Hey loves, it's Brianna. You might also know me as Bits of Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a clean and decorate and declutter with me of my kiddos bathroom. And I'm so excited because today I'm partnering up with Walmart and their new heart tool line. And we're gonna be doing some really cool DIYs in here before I get to cleaning and decorating and decluttering. Well, we are gonna be doing some decorating with some of the DIYs in here. So I'm gonna go get my husband, Adam, cause he's gonna help me with some of the little updates that we wanna do in here. And I hope that this gives you cleaning motivation and inspiration if you're looking for some easy DIYs to improve your home and decorate your space, especially if you've got sort of a smaller bathroom area like the kiddos bathroom here today. So I found this idea on Pinterest of these like industrial pipes in wood shelves. So that is what we're looking to do in this little nook over the toilet and Adam's just using the heart stud finder. Is there a stud there? Or, yes. Yeah? I don't know if we're gonna be able to use it though. Yeah, it's not gonna be where like, we need to drill it in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh, maybe. Probably not though. Okay. It's probably gonna fall in between the studs. I'm so excited to do it with heart today because I got to test out all of these tools and just all of the heart product line way back in November when I went to New York City for their launch event and getting to try everything was so much fun and I feel like it inspired me to try to do more DIYs around my home. So I hope that this video does the same for you and I will link everything that we're using today for these DIYs around this bathroom and that we'll continue using around our home down in the description box below so that you can get your heart tools and truly do some DIYs with me in the future as well because I have a long list of different DIY projects that I want to do around our home. You think I'd be nesting or something? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So for DIY number one, we're making an industrial pipe shelf and you'll need a piece of wood for the shelf. I used a 24 inch long by 10 inch deep piece of shelving, but make your skinnier in depth six or eight inches if you're hanging this lower so that no one's head pumps it when they get up. Like this. Uh, it like automatically locks. At first I thought it was like broken or something, but <laughs> so it doesn't like, you just press the button and you want it to actually re recoil, but normally you have to like hold it, then push a button to lock it where this automatically does. It's actually, I'm gonna steal this. <laughs> But you will need three quarter inch black iron pipes in the depth of your shelf. You can find these in the plumbing section and you will need two three quarter inch pipe caps and two three quarter inch flanges and wall anchors and screws. And I'm using my heart drill, screwdriver and hammer to mount my shelf. And we started working on these DIYs during nap time because we knew that they would be quick and easy. But we ended up waking up both of the kids in the process, parent fail, just to warn you. Do you want to try one? Yeah. <laughs> Closer level. All right. And squeeze and push. Squeeze it all the way. <laughs> Landon made an appearance. We totally woke up and came from his nap, drilling into the <laughs> yeah, wall. Yeah, literally drilling his into his wall. <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> It is a nice drill. It's <laughs> a lot harder to get mad at you now and be like, you messed it up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I don't care. Somehow I'll still get yelled at, but. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, push it in as far as you can first and then hammer it in. Push it in as far as I can. And then now hammer. Yeah, I just heard. What did you say? No, knocking on the, something knocking on the door. What is this stuff actually meant to be for? I think like plumbing. Is it? 
I mean, the caps actually look like that, yeah. I guess. Well, that's why I wanted it for in here because I thought it was like a cool look for a bathroom. <laughs> Have some pipes just sticking out of the wall above where you go potty. Let me wash my hands. Okay, time for the moment of truth. Putting the shelf on the shelf. Watch it like tumble off the wall. I would cry. Yeah? Yay! We did it! Does it look even? Yeah. Better be. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant level. <laughs> so there's no re. Yeah, do you like it? Looks lovely. You know, did it with my heart drill, my heart tool. You, you really put your heart into this project. I really right? put my heart and soul into this project. <laughs> my first true DIY that I almost did by myself. So my other thing I wanted to hang was like a little hook here so that guests could hang robes or towels or like as the kids get older can hang stuff like right outside of the shower. I do love that it actually centers it. There's a stud right there. Okay, good. Yeah. So I should hang it here where the stud is, correct? Correct. And the next DIY I wanted to do on here was just add some knobs to the cabinets underneath the sink. So they don't have knobs currently and I thought it would be fun to sort of upscale their current look. And I always ask you guys if anyone is having a hard time right now, leave a prayer request down in the comments so that everyone in this community can support each other. All right, all of those DIYs I wanted to do in here are finished. Again, I will link all of the heart tools that we use and all of their other products in my description box down below. But now it is time to clean. I need to declutter inside of all of the cabinets and the linen closet here. And then I'm gonna do a nice deep clean of the bathroom and we will decorate at the very end of the video. All right, it is time for you to clean with me. Let's do a good deep clean of a bathroom in your home. We're gonna do it together, starting out with the mirror and sinks, and then we'll take everything out of the cabinets. If you've got a linen closet as well, we're gonna declutter that. So I just went through, checked expiration dates on medicines and products, ditched anything that was expired, and donated anything that's unopened that I wasn't going to be using to a shelter or a women's home and this just makes some space. It feels so much better to declutter and get rid of that junk. So let's go clean and declutter with me. And while you're watching today, if you could share on your Instagram and tag me or share the link over on your Facebook, I would really, really appreciate it. And I love getting to see you guys watching.
And if you're new here, I've got a ton of free printables over on my blog. If you would like some to-do lists, meal planning guides, and so much more just to help you stay organized. So sign up for the newsletter over on my blog. It's bitsofbreeblog.com. And that way I can send them to you for free. Next, we're going to be decorating together. I wanted to do something that would brighten up this space and add a little bit of color since it's the kids' bathroom. And I have a son and a daughter, and I just wanted to incorporate lots of color so it felt really fun for them. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you like how it turned out. And I'm so excited to be sharing my how to start a YouTube channel course with you. So if you are thinking about starting a channel of your own, I would love to help you with tips and advice on what I wish I would have known before starting my channel. So check out the link in my description box and make sure you sign up for the course. So I went back to Walmart today just to get a few more decor items that I wanted for the kiddos' bathrooms, and I found some really awesome stuff um, that I'm going to DIY here too that I wanted to show you. So they have these really cute white wood, I don't know, like different squares, rectangles, sizes, and different letters. So I asked on my Instagram yesterday what people thought would be cute. So I'm gonna put the dry sign over the towels, roll with it can go over the toilet paper, and then this can go right above the toilet in between the shelf and the toilet to kind of break up the space a little bit. But I'm just gonna use some wood glue and glue these letters on and hang them up in a couple of hours. And I just wanted to take a moment and tell you all, I am so grateful that you are here. I've had some really hard days recently just working through the grieving process of my dad. I think there will always be hard days when you lose someone that you love so much. So I just don't want you to feel alone if you are having hard days. 
and I just cannot tell you how thankful I am. This community has been there for me. And I also just see you show up for other people in the comments who need your support with their prayer requests or have questions about things. And I've also gotten to talk to so many of you, whether it's on the premieres, which I love getting to chat with you guys on those or in the messages you send me on Instagram or in comments. And I am just so grateful for you. My pastor recently did a sermon talking about how God wants us to use our work to spread love. And I just want you to know I'm committed to doing that. I want to keep creating content that helps you, makes you feel love, shares my gifts, helps you share yours. And I just truly feel the love radiating back in return from this community. So just thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you for every share. Thank you for every kind word because you don't know sometimes when I'm in a dark place, I read some kind comments and you literally pull me back out of like the dark place I was in and keep me going. You are such a light. And when I see you sharing things on Instagram, that just motivates me to keep going, knowing that new people might be joining who are also feeling lonely and lost and anything that I can do to help anything you can do to help. If I can teach you to start your own channel so that you can help even more people. I am just so excited about this opportunity and just so grateful to have you here and have been praying so much, just thanking God for everything he's done so far that I feel like has prepared me to do YouTube and helped me find you and connect with you. So I just want to say thank you and tell you how much I love you. If you found a way out, come seek me out. All right, the signs are hung. I'll give you a little tour around the new bathroom. All right, so here is the new bathroom tour. These new knobs, which when Landon saw them, I thought it was so cute. He's like, mommy, I love these. <laughs> so Landon approves of those. And over here, I've got my new wall hook installed and all of the new signage and shelf that we built. Sign is so funny. Thank you guys for giving me that idea on Instagram. And inside the decluttered cabinet or linen closet. And underneath has been all nice and decluttered too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this clean, decorate, and declutter with me doing a little upgrade of the kiddos' bathroom. Click the thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And thank you to Heart Tools for sponsoring this video. I will have all the tools that I use and all of their products linked down below in my description box so that you can do it with Heart for your next DIY project around your home. I just love the ones that we did for the bathroom. I think they turned out so good. And let me know in the comments if you have any other requests for future videos on my channel. I would love to know what you guys would like to see next. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye loves. I got mono the like quarter I took Witch off. So I never got to finish anything, which is why I feel like I don't know how to do <laughs> any of this stuff. So thankfully you <clears throat> help me. I never took I never had a class like that. Ours was called, I think, Industrial Arts. Yep. It hurts my wrist. <laughs> I mean, you can use the drill. You're not really supposed to, but because then it, like, it's going into plastic, so it could, uh -oh, like, like thread fire. over. No, thre oh. fire. <laughs> yeah, because when you hear plastic, you think, oh, that that's something that's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.
Come on, muscles. I work out every day. This is perfect form of sweating. It's a very interesting form. <laughs> Are you supposed to do it like this? Maybe that's my problem. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, coach. <laughs> Do you want me to do it? <laughs>